हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट इंजीनियर्स आर वर्किंग हार्ड टू डिज़ाइन अ इंजन दैट कुड मीट द मार्पोल रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड आई वाज सेलिंग इन वन ऑफ द शिप व्हिच हैज द लेटेस्ट एल इंजन सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द बेसिक्स ऑन the lgip engine so these lgip engines are basically dual fuel engines in which the propane or you can say lpg is burned as a secondary fuel so let's begin with the series of video so friends uh, before going further on discussing basics of lgip engine let's first see the nomenclature of manual dual engine so that we can understand more clearly where this lgip term is there in the nomenclature so till mark number till this mark number we all know that most of the things have already come but these lgip engines are new so i am going to tell you after this mark number so this lgip is basically a fuel injection concept so previously you this uh, this concept was used in lng tankers so if it was blank for other uh, other engines because only fuel oil is used but in uh, lng ships where gas injection or dual fuel engines are there then it was gi or ga or gia now when the uh, more development or more research Uh, research happened and they developed lg lg im engine so in this the fuel is injected in the form of liquid so liquid gas injection methane so basically the fuel was methane and it was injected in the form of methane so the engines in which i sailed was lgip so lgip basically is the uh, liquid gas injection and uh, fuel is lpg so basically lpg is injected as uh, in the liquid form into the engine during the combustion stroke so this lgip is used after the mark number in the nomenclature and this over here hpscr so this basically is uh, the tier 3 technology so if nothing is there actually previously nothing was there so it was blank for tier 2 but for tier 3 to meet the requirements of tier 3 it is a egrbp that is exhaust gas recirculation with by bypass matching or exhaust gas recirculation with turbocharger cutout matching then hp scr is high pressure scr or lp scr is low pressure scr and w is water in methanol so all these things are used for tier 3 technologies and it is represented over here in the nomenclature so in uh, my coming videos i will discuss lgip hpscr so that you can have a better understanding for the for all the engines which are coming in the future on this technology so friends in this video i am just going to give you the overview how these engines or what all components are there for the for operation of these main engines so for operating any engine you need a fuel and primary fuel is already there for the main engine so if you need to run the main engine on the secondary fuel you need to, you should have a separate fuel oil supply system so over here the fuel oil is gas so fuel gas supply system is there and it is totally independent of the primary fuel oil supply system and it is there on the deck so this supply system in itself is a huge thing to manage so it's not like uh, the normal fuel oil supply system where the all the pumps are continuously running and uh, we hardly stop them but over here it is not like that we have to start and stop these pumps or whole system every time the engine started or stopped then here comes the fuel valve train so this is uh, basically 
सेफ्टी सिस्टम और यू कैन से काइंड ऑफ वॉल दैट सपरेट दप्लाई सिस्टम एंड द मेन इंजन सो बेसिकली ड्यूरिंग नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन ऑफ दी ऑफ दिस इंजन ड्यूरिंग स्टार्ट एंड स्टॉप दिस फ्यूल वॉल ट्रेन दैट इज द सप्लाई वॉल ट्रेन एंड रिटर्न वॉल ट्रेन दे आर दे आर कंट्रोल ऑटोमेटिकली एंड दे रन दी मेन इंजन बट वेन देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम विद द इंजन और वेन देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम विद द supply system so this fuel oil drain with with uh, will completely isolate main engine and fuel gas supply system and also will uh, purge out the main engine with the uh, leftover lpg which is there in the main engine it will purge out to the atmosphere with the help of this nitrogen so this is the basic of lp uh, lgip engines so i will discuss each and everything in detail in my upcoming videos so keep watching and enjoy